Ah, what a day that was. Exhausting, but very informative. Tell me, what exactly did all the standards accomplish in reality? When I was about your age, I worked on an oil drilling platform in Venezuela. Those were the days. For months on end, I labored in this humid heat. Our primary concern, of course, was explosion prevention. On this issue, there could be no compromises on an oil platform. However, some of the devices we wanted to use weren't compatible with the planned infrastructure. So, we had to look for alternatives, which meant the whole system had to be replanned and acceptance tested, several times in fact. Just as well those days have gone, the lack of standards used to mean you were limited to using devices from one manufacturer, or maybe just a couple of manufacturers. This meant you were dependent on them and it limited your choice of supplier. Today everything is much easier. Thanks to standards like Profibus, there's a lot more flexibility. Indeed, there's a vast range of devices available that can be combined in almost any way, regardless of manufacturer. And it's no problem to replace devices later on. Technicians just connect them, set the correct bus address and assign parameters. That's it. And by the way, with Profibus, new devices are always backward compatible. You can see the possibilities for customizing systems to meet any requirement. Hey, even requirements for explosion protection? Of course. Okay then. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>